Hello fellow detectorists. Yes, I'm back out again. It's the following weekend from the last video. It is April the 13th, the usual Saturday. We're back here again on permission number one. I felt as though there was, I was finding a bit more up here. So also the, you've got to take into consideration the crop. It's come through quite a bit since last weekend, but it's still got a bit of time up here yet for me to carry on detecting anyway, because the farmer doesn't mind. But we'll see what we get up here today. I'm going to be using two or three programs, my usual uh, WS6 Master General program. Um, the Deus Mono program because I quite like using that. Um, it's supposed to be very similar to the old Goldmax Power settings and program. And the other one I'm going to be using is the Deep HC. And all three programs I'll turn the high tone up to 881 like I usually do. But we'll give that a go. We'll see what turns up. And as usual, you'll see me at my first find. Bye for now. Here we go, folks. We've got our first find. It's not much, but it's interesting. It's that, look. It's tiny little fragment of something but it's decorated and it's quite thick and chunky as well as so I don't think it's part of a buckle I mean, it looks to me as though it might be part of a Roman fibula, but who knows? Anyway, that's our first find. We'll carry on. Here we go folks, we've got our next find and nothing special, but it's quite nice, it's interesting. A bullet, obviously. Um, I suppose what you would call it, a three ringer, a three ring bullet. Um, I don't know much about ammunition, I know what a 50 cal is and a 303 and the farmer's typical 2-2 but that I think is is older of course but anybody out there that would know a bit more about that please let me know I get them from time to time but not in as good a condition as that anyway we'll carry on Here we go folks, we just had another another target. It's just blown out of my hand. Yeah, here we have another target. It's wafer thin. Um, it's quite a nice one. We have got ourselves a hammered coin. Lovely. And like I said, it is wafer thin. Um, there's the bust there. I think it's an Edward. Get it in focus. I think it's an Edward. I can just see 
AR here, so that would be the Ed Ward a bit round the side here. You can just see a bust on there. Um, got the cross on the back. Lovely. Now, I want to say a little bit about this. I've just spent five minutes or so, not long, just going over my coil with this because this didn't give me much of a signal. It only gave me about 45 to 50 at the most. And normally, hammered coins come up in the 60s, the 65 to 70. But this was only giving me about 45 to 50. Um, and I tried two or three various programs. And the Deus Mono, which I like to use just lately, this was coming up, it wasn't even coming up as a high tone. It was coming up as a sort of a mid-tone at about 45. So I'm going to start scrutinising some of my targets, I think, a little bit more and not ignoring some of the 40s. Some of the sort of mid-40s might be small hammered coins and I'm missing them. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd mention that. Anyway, let's carry on. It was very interesting. Bye for now. Here we go, folks. We just had another really nice find. I've literally walked about two feet. <laughs> two or three feet yes I've literally walked about two feet two or three feet from that haven't found that hammered coin and I found this really nice it's a little bit a little bit battered um, it's a Georgia fifth 1915 I can see on the back there silver uh, one shilling silver one shilling how about that that's lovely now that did give me a good signal in the ground, that gave me about 92 on the general program. Georgia 5th, one shilling. Lovely. Like I say, it's had a bit of a knock here, a bit of a bang. Brilliant. Lovely, let's carry on. Here we go folks, we've got our next find, it's another coin. Now, I can see a bust on there. I think it's a Georgia third, but I'm not sure. It's got quite an obvious sort of border ring around the edge of Britannia here on the back. Now I suppose there would have been a date here at the bottom, but I can't make it out. Um, but it's got quite an obvious ring around this, and you, you don't normally get that on half pennies. So. I'm not sure about this one. Whatever it is, I've not had many of them. But you can see a definite bust that side. Lovely. Anyway, we'll carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, another little find and it's a little button that's been gold gilded. Just thought I'd show that, so it's quite nice. Anyway, we'll see what the next one is.
Hello folks, our next find is a type of saddle decoration I think, or bridle decoration, possibly from a horse, or it could be some kind of leather fitting, it's got what's left of a pin in the back there. Right, we'll carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got our next find. Now, I thought this might have been part of a button, but I don't think so. It's, I've got a funny feeling it might have been, I don't know, on the end of a cane or something like that. It's some kind of other fitting. I mean, it might have been part of a, uh, part of a, like one of these two part buttons, but I don't know. I just think that might have been something else. Anyway, let's carry on. Nicely decorated. Let's see what the next one is. Now then folks, I just had another find from just down here. You can see the hole the other side of my spade. And it's this. Now it's not iron. It's given me a good signal. But what is that? I think there was something else on here obviously. Because it looks broken. But it's got this ridge going down this side. No idea what that is. I've never found anything like that before. It's definitely not iron because it's it's given me a it's not giving me an iron tone. But what is that? Anyway, if you know, please let me know. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got another another find and it's another little button. Now I've had one like this before, that's a tiny little shirt sleeve button I think, but it's got a plough on it, look. A horse drawn plough. That's nice. So I do remember getting one of these before, I think it was off this field as well. So this could very well be the matching <laughs> the other the other matching cuff. Anyway, we'll carry on. Here we go folks, we've got ourselves another little find. Unfortunately this time it's broken, but it's another one of these little double D buckles, but this time it's not in one piece. Still, I still quite like finding these. Anyway, let's carry on. 
Bye for now. Now then folks, we've got another find and it's quite a nice one and it is a <laughs> a semi-live dig if you like. I've caught a glimpse of it, it looks quite nice and you might just be able to see the hole um, down there next to my coil where I just dug it from and here it is. Now, let's get rid of this. now. As I sort of found it in the dirt, it was quite deep down actually, I was surprised, a good 8 inches. Um, but that's what I saw. This looks like it might be quite nice. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> Wow, no, I haven't had a hammered coin like this for a while. That is lovely. How about that? How about that? Look at that. Lovely. I think it's an Edward. I'm not quite sure. Look at that, lovely. Right, I'm just going to give this a quick spray and I'll come straight back to you. That's brilliant. See you in a moment. Yes, here we go folks. Um, talk about save the best till last. <laughs> there we go. I've, get, I've given it a quick spray. But how about that? It's lovely detail. Shining in the sunshine. Now just for curios curiosity's sake, I'll just check what program that was on. Yes, now not surprisingly, I just checked them whilst I had the chance. It gave me about 78 this coin. Um, now I think it was a bit less than that when it was in the ground. But that was on, that was on the general program and the only changes I've made is to the high tone and I've, I've, I've tuned up or turned up the high tone to 881 just so that it really stands out when you get a, go over a good signal how about that lovely anyway let's carry on I've got
got about half an hour I think before I have to leave and we'll see what else comes up in that half an hour bye for now Here we go folks, I'm practically back at my car, this will be the last find of the day. Um, but I've just had something I'm just down here and it's that. Now this is part of a, a buckle uh, belt strap end <laughs> type item. It would have had another one of these prongs coming down this side. Um, but that's obviously gone on this one now and this bit here would have been across in the and basically these were strengtheners which would be sandwiched in, in, in between the belt on the end of the belt and the buckle would go on on the end of this but that's my last find of the day it's been a, a brilliant day today I hope you enjoyed the hammered coins and the was it was it uh, George was it George V silver shilling anyway I'll be on my way home and weather permitting I'll be back again next weekend see if we can find some more Bye for now. <laughs>